mechanical engineering stream students i welcome you all into my another video hope you are all doing well i know most of you are eagerly waiting for this passing package uh, for the theory of machine subjects so let me discuss here the super important questions and i will let you know from my handwritten notes what you have to refer okay so this is the subject code over here bme503 theory of machines is the subject name and for uh, numerical part you have to refer the papers 18 me 44 that is kinematics of machines and 21 me 51 it is the tom subject of 21 scheme okay so as you know already it is the combination of uh, two subjects one is com and next one is dom okay so these two subject is the combination it becomes your theory it becomes your theory of machines okay you can also refer the dom papers for your reference and also refer my handwritten notes which i will show you later on the interface in this video itself so first of all module fifth it is the passing module in which you have to go through these uh, simple definitions like natural frequency and damping damping ratio damping factor and degree of freedom logarithmic decrement and stiffness of string amplitude and time period this may be the nine marks question right next one we have super important question definite question which uh, which you will surely ask that is derived natural frequency of spring mass system by newton's method and energy method right next one we have problems on determination of natural frequency using above mentioned methods means you have to use newton's method and energy method in order to determine the natural frequency and i will show you the interface of notes also later on so next one we have determine the natural frequency of the simple pendulum by using newton's method neglecting the mass of rod so next one we have derived expression for steady state solution with viscous damping due to harmonic force and fifth one we have set up the differential equation for a spring mass damper system and obtain complete solution for critically dampered condition last one we have here explain the effect of mass of spring or natural frequency of spring mass system this is all about your module fifth right so this is the passing module so these questions should be at your utmost priority next one we have passing module that is module four derive an expression for determining speed of spindle of a porter governor this is super important question taking friction into account define the following sensitivity ness uh, stability isochorism governor effort power and hunting what do you mean by static and dynamic balancing with neat sketch explain controlling force diagram for spring controlled governor and explain why only part of unbalanced forces due to reciprocating masses is balanced by revolving masses there an expression for uh, spring stiffness of a hard metal governor so if you are good in the problematic part to be honest it is not only the passing package subject then so it becomes your scoring subject right if you are good in the balancing of rotating masses problem of reciprocating masses problem right so first of all let me show you the interface of notes and i have written the super important problems only go through those particular problems surely one will come in the examination that is of 15 marks oh let me show you first the interface of the papers sorry this is your balancing of reciprocating masses numerical problems whatever the problems i have written over here make sure you will go through it okay and practice a lot you will easily get 15 marks from these particular questions so if you are able to draw this table you will get easily six marks for this table then later on for the diagrams you will get the full marks over there okay so make sure you will go through these uh, questions in order to grab 20 marks from this particular module also okay no need to worry for the handwritten notes i will provide the link in the description box which will surely help you in acing the theory of machines subject all right so now coming back to the important question and also if you are convenient with the porter and hartnell governor problem it is your choice you can also go through these particular problems okay you can uh, so you can refer the dom paper of 18 scheme for these particular problems next one we have again passing module that is model one where we have some definitions like define the following kinematics kinematic link kinematic pair and mechanism inversion degrees of freedom kinematic chain this may be the seven marks question explain double slider crank chain and its important inversions nine marks with a neat sketch explain any three inversions of four bar kinematic chain again nine marks question differentiate between higher pair and lower pair eight marks with a neat sketch explain any two inversions of single slider crank chain eight marks question and problems on velocity and acceleration analysis okay so on the slider crank mechanism and four bar mechanism they will ask you the questions from velocity and acceleration analysis so eight marks question will be there make sure you will go through the problematic part also okay this is the kinematic of machines part 
so you can refer 18 me 44 for these particular problems and using complex algebra derived expressions for velocity and acceleration of the piston angular acceleration of the connecting rod of slider crank mechanism again eight marks question so for these problems you have to refer 18 me 44 paper I'm, I'm repeating it again and again so now coming to the another two modules so module 2 we have here explain the static equilibrium of two forces three forces and member with two forces and a torque okay and also problem is related to this particular question so for these problems uh, the diagram will be given you have to find out the unknown forces and torque over there right next one we have state d Lambert's principle and here are some interfaces of super important questions uh, you can take the screenshots also third one is here and next one is here also fourth one so make sure you will go through these questions where you have to calculate pressure on the slide bars thrust in the connecting rod tangential force on the crank pin and turning moment on the crankshaft these are formula based questions uh, which you can easily remember okay so formulas if you are able to remember you can easily tackle these type of questions so fifth one is here and sixth one is here okay so make sure you will go through similar type of problems where only thing is you should remember the formulas now coming to the model third we have here what is a gear train with neat sketch explain different types of gear trains state law of gearing derive an expression for the minimum number of teeth on the pinion in order to avoid interference in involute uh, gear teeth when it measured with a wheel derive the expression for length of path of contact and arc of contact for a pair of involute gears contact and here is the question two mating gears uh, with module pitch 6 mm have 20 and 50 teeth of pressure pressure angle 30 and addendum 6 mm determine the number of pairs of teeth in the contact next one we have gear problems which are most important ones uh, especially epicyclic gears and for also these particular problems you can refer 18 me 44 papers for your practice in short this is the problematic subject it, it is not easy for a student to pass this particular subject only by theoretical portions make sure you will go through uh, the problems reciprocating masses rotating masses and also gear problems which are most important to one okay so that you can somehow manage to pass and score good in the theory of machine subject tom subject okay so i wish you all the best for your examinations make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates thank you